Good Sunday evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist James Parrish in the Dick Goddard Weather Center with your clickable forecast. We are wrapping up another very warm and uncomfortable day across Northeast Ohio. Those dew point temperatures are in the upper 60s and lower 70s, so that tells me the air is very muggy out there. Now what's kept the temperatures down a little bit so far today? Some clouds as well as a little bit of rain. And there will be the potential for more showers and storms over the next several days. So let's break down the overall weather pattern for right now. We have an upper level ridge or the heat dome has become planted across the four corners. Now just on the outside of this upper level ridge or this heat dome you will see small disturbances in the atmosphere and those disturbances like to trigger clusters and complex of showers and storms and with that northwest flow aloft across the upper midwest as well as the great lakes at times some of those downpours and storms that develop could actually impact northeast Ohio, which is why a line of downpours and strong to severe thunderstorms missed us just to the southwest earlier today. But there is the potential that we could see some downpours and storms at times over the next couple of days, so we are in an active weather pattern, but this type of weather pattern can be very hard to predict in terms of the exact timing of storms, the coverage in storms, as well as their intensity. So here's the very latest hour by hour forecast with Futurecast, and I do believe it's doing a pretty good job showing the potential for some scattered downpours as well as some storms that will push from west to east across the area so if you are headed out sunday evening it might be a good idea to keep an eye on the radar as well as take the rain gear with you probably going to be dry through midnight tonight but another line or complex of showers and storms will likely develop off to our west across parts of eastern iowa southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois and as those showers and storms that could move across the lower Great Lakes overnight into Monday morning and that's why Monday morning there will be the potential for some downpours as well as some storms so for many of us that Monday morning commute could be rather soggy. These showers and storms will likely be through the area by lunchtime on Monday and if we do see more clouds as well as the potential for a stray downpour or storm Monday afternoon then Monday may not wind up being as hot as what I'm thinking right now. Now, while if we see a lot of sunshine, that means Monday is going to be another hot and steamy day. Probably staying dry through Monday evening as well, but as we head past midnight on Tuesday, there is the potential for another cluster or complex of showers and storms that could impact the area Monday night into Tuesday morning as well. So for tonight, my forecast low 72 degrees. Downpours and storms will be possible, especially late tonight into first thing Monday morning. Overall, tomorrow's looking like another hot and steamy day. High temperatures will be in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees, with those max feels like temperatures in the low to middle 90s. But once again, if we see a little bit more cloud coverage than what I'm expecting right now, high temperatures may only reach the mid to upper 80s, and those feels like temperatures will be a few degrees cooler as well. Here's your eight day forecast. 90 for Monday and Tuesday. It looks like Tuesday will be the last hot and humid day this week. Cold front will come through late Tuesday into Wednesday. That front will bring in additional rain showers and storms, probably the highest chance for rain showers and storms this week. Then behind the front, we will notice a big drop in the heat as well as the humidity. High temperatures on Thursday and Friday will only be in the mid to upper 70s. That's actually below normal for this time of year, but it's also going to feel much more comfortable outside from a humidity standpoint. As we take a sneak peek at next weekend, I do expect lots of sunshine with highs in the low to middle 80s. I hope you enjoy your Sunday night.